So this morning I saw two meters was wide open on propagation. In fact, here is the, uh, let me show you the map here. Look at that, huh? That's from Mexico, Texas, all the way to Florida, Missouri, South Carolina, everything in between, okay? It's wide open. So I decided to get on FT8 for a minute. And I made a couple, I made one contact to K2IL He's actually close to me, about 20 miles. And the surprising thing is, oh, and I, list, uh, I received W4GHW, who was calling for K2IL, but apparently you can't hear me. Uh, he is in Georgia, okay? And what I'm using is my 705, um, a little fake clone RM Italy amplifier that says 150 to 170. I retuned that to 144 to 146 with the internal trimmer capacitor. It does all right uh, with a bio and a battery, but I am using <laughs> what antenna I had in my reach here, Dr. Jack's compact antenna with the ground plane mount up at about 25 feet on this carbon fiber mast. So that's seven inch antenna right there, seven inches. Uh, Dr. Jack had said, you know, that, that antenna does uh, have a polarization that's elliptical or circular. I can't remember exactly, but he said that will work for sideband if you ever try it one day. And I said, well, you know, if I ever get a chance and the band opens, well, the band is wide open. Um, you know, with a Yagi, I could do a lot more, but um, you know, I have that cubicle quad right here. I could have put up there and have time, you know, take lunch and uh, decide to fire up the computer real quick and the uh, ham radio. But I'm going to see if I can make another one more contact i'm like i said w4 ghw i don't know why this thing won't zoom there it goes w4 ghw is in georgia so um have not received uh my signal yet but we're gonna keep trying but hey who would have thunk it right a seven inch antenna see i use a compact antenna also on my uh, work truck here which i use for aprs i have to say at 50 watts on the little radiotity I have that's beaconing APRS, I have to say, this thing covers spectacular um, on APRS. I mean, I don't have any spots where I can't hit it for hours. Like, you know, that, that look, look at the size of the antenna. That's what's amazing is, you know, uh, you know, I also, <laughs> there's this compact antenna, perfect CB. He made that for 11 meters. I use that. That, I work the world with that antenna all the time on 11 meters CB. And here's the one I use for APRS. There's the antenna just over the roof line. It's not high. That's on that pole in the backyard. It is eventually going on top of that tower up there when I get that top section on. Hey, there it is. Just hose clamped right here. I mean, that's, that's what it is. I know the sun's bright out here. Let's see if I turn that so you can see it. There we go. Compact antenna, two meter, 440 plus with the ground plane kit. So like I said, I'm gonna put that up on a tower because, you know, for those who are space restricted, um, that's not big, man. I mean, here's here's my hand, look. That's not big at all. And to be receiving Georgia, of course the band conditions do help. Um, you can't do that on VHF to Georgia uh, if, you know, if the band ain't open. But this thing is uh, always a, a really neat and surprising antenna, the compact antenna, two meter 440. This time on single sideband in the backyard on FT8, 7.3. It's worth noting that I just missed uh, KD4 VRY Echo Lima 96. He tried calling for me, I missed it. Um, but he is in Naples. That's the other side of the state. There's his shack there. So, Definitely, um, this antenna has potential at the right height, the right surroundings for single sideband for space restricted. Last thing, so using uh, pskreporter.info, if I can find my mouse. So that station heard me, K4VJ. It looks like he's north of Orlando. And this one is 18 miles south of me, the same grid. The Georgia station was up here somewhere. But um, there's your single sideband two meter report on the compact tenor.